Hi, this is Alfozia Nihar from At Home Tuitions. Welcome to our session today. Today, let's discuss the topic SSES Similarity Theorem, that is Side 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 Similarity Theorem, and how to solve problems based on this theorem or postulate. Let me start by the definition. Two triangles are similar if all their corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. It is not necessary to check all the angles and sides in order to tell if two triangles are similar. In fact, if you know only that all the sides are proportional, then that is enough information to know that the triangles are similar. This is called SSES Similarity Theorem. Let me write the statement of the theorem. If all the three pairs of the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the two triangles are similar. Consider these two triangles, ABC and XYZ. Let me write the proportions of the sides on the board, AB and XY. Let me use same colors for the size of the sides, shortest, second shortest and the longest. So it will be easy for you to identify. I have highlighted, okay, AB is corresponding to YZ, BC and ZX. AC and XY. If these proportions are true, then the triangles ABC and XYZ are similar. Now let's see what if you were given a pair of triangles and these side lengths for all the three of these sides. How could you use these information to determine if two triangles are similar? Let us see how can we do all these by solving some problems on the board. I have taken this example. There are three triangles in the given question. You have to check whether these two triangles DEF and GHI are similar or not. For similarity, we use the proportional. DEF is the second triangle, GHI is the third triangle. Identify the smallest, second smallest or shortest, second shortest and the longest sides and then write the proportions. Shortest over shortest, 15 and 30. Second shortest from DEF, second shortest from GHI, that is 16 and 33. Longest side from the triangle DEF and longest side from GHI, 18 and 36. Now let us reduce these fractions and check whether we are getting the same value for all the three. 15 goes, 15 ones are 15 and 15 2 is a 30. So 15 over 30 can be reduced into 1 over 2. 18 times 2 will give you 36. So 18 over 36 can also be reduced to the ratio 1 over 2. Now let's look at the middle one. 16 times 2 and 33. I think this cannot be reduced as 1 over 2. So this cannot be equal to. So, the triangle DEF is not similar to triangle GHI since the proportional does not satisfy. Okay, all the three fractions has to be reduced to a same value. Only then we can say that the two triangles are similar. But here, the condition is not satisfied. So, we say that the two triangles are not similar. Let me take one more question for the same figure and check whether these two triangles, those two triangles are congruent or not, similar or not. Check whether the triangles ABC and GHI are similar or not. I'm going to set up the same proportion. First, you have to identify the shortest in both the triangles and second shortest in both the triangles and the longest side in both the triangles. Shortest would be 20 here and GHI shortest would be 30. Second shortest in ABC is 22. Second shortest in GHI is 33. Same way, the longest side in the triangle ABC is 24 and longest in GHI is 36. Now let's try to reduce these fractions. 20 and 30. We can reduce this fraction by 10. So 2 over 3. 22 over 33. You can reduce this fraction by 11. 11 times 2, 11 times 3. Let's reduce this fraction 24 over 36 by 12. 12 times 2 and 12 times 3. Did you notice that all the three fractions reduces to 2 over 3? All are equal. So you can say that, you can agree that the triangle ABC is similar to the triangle GHI. 
hence they are similar hope you understand the difference between example 1 and 2 okay this is how you have to check whether the triangles are similar or not you need not memorize the proportion you can just identify the shortest second shortest and the longest side so that you can easily set up the proportion and check whether they are equal or not by reducing the fractions now let me take one example so that you can determine whether the triangles are similar in case if they are similar you have to explain why and write a similarity statement okay let me take a question now that please read the question determine if the following triangles are similar we will need to find the ratios for the corresponding sides of the triangle and see if they are all the same start with the longest sides and work down to the shortest sides okay the longest side for this one is before that let me name the triangle as ABC and EDF longest sides are 28 and 20 by, reduce, by reducing the fraction, I am getting 7 over 5. Now, the second shortest side, BA and FE. Okay. Just write the measurements given on the question. These two numbers can be reduced by 3. 7 3s are 21 and 5 3s are 15. Again, I am getting the same ratio, 7 over 5. Now, from the figure, find the shortest side, AC over ED measurements would be 14 over 10 this could be reduced by 2 7 twos are 14 and 5 twos are 10 all the three ratios are same since all the three ratios are same the triangle ABC is similar to triangle e EFT by side 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 similarity theorem hope you are clear with this example okay so far we were proving that two triangles are similar now you just have to go in reverse you have to take the concept that they are similar and solve the unknown side okay let me take an example like that in this question it says that the two triangles ABC and DEF are similar we have to take this as clue and find the unknown values for X and Y according to the similarity statement the corresponding sides ok let me write the proportion for corresponding sides we have set up the proportionality proportional for these sides we are taking the corresponding sides and set up the proportion now let us substitute the values given in the triangle and you have to plug in what we know and find the unknown value for the first one 9 over 6 for BC 4x minus 1 and EF 10 AC is 18 DF is Y now let's equate and solve for the unknown value equating these two I'm going to solve for X cross multiply let me simplify 3 goes 2 times in 6 and 3 times in 9 2 goes 5 times in 10 so 15 on the left hand side and 4x minus 1 on the right hand side add 1 on both these sides divide both these sides by 4 therefore the unknown value X is equal to 4 does this make sense to you okay we can use the same proportion set and solve for y also this time we are going to equate the first one and third one equate 9 over 6 and 18 over y cross multiply since y is in the denominator I'm going to bring it to the numerator by cross multiplying both these sides divide both these sides by 9 multiplying the leftovers in the top row 2 times 6 would be 12 that's it for this example Using the similarity theorem, we are finding the unknown values for the sides. In case if the direction is asking you to find the value of one of these sides, you just have to plug in back the x value and find 4x minus 1. Hope you are clear with this example. Whenever you are asked to check for the similarity, you just have to check whether the ratios are same or not all same. If they are same, the triangles are similar. If the ratios are not all the same, the triangles are not similar. Okay, these are the two main types of the problems based on the similarity theorem you'll be getting. All the three sides must be in the same proportion. Let me tell you the important property of side 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 similarity theorem. If two triangles are similar to each other, then ratio of sides equal to ratio of heights. Ratio of sides equal to ratios of medians. 
ratios of sides equal to ratios of angle bisectors ratio of sides equal to ratio of in radius ratio of sides equal to ratio of circum radius this is one of the important property of side 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 similarity theorem next property says ratio of area of two similar triangle will be equal to ratio of squares of corresponding sides this is the second important property you can note it down third property says if your line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points then the other sides are divided in the same ratio this is the third point you can make a note of this you, you may you may not get problems based on this uh, very often you'll be getting only few problems based on these three properties hope you are clear with all the concepts that we discussed in today's video how to determine whether the triangles are similar you just have to determine wh whether the triangles are similar or not then using the similarity theorem you have to find the unknown sides and finally we were discussing the three important properties of similarity triangle